you what a spooky start to the morning sunrise safari beautiful and quite dramatic with all that mist that's lying on the lower areas that dead tree but you can just see where the you can just see where the cold could all the coldness is busy gathering here at uh, Juma Private Game Reserve here in Sobe Sand, South Africa. Good morning, everybody. My name is Cedric, and behind the camera with me on Rusty, we've got BK. Thank you for joining. Well, it is a cold morning, as I say. It is uh, something that is uh, looking very dramatic at the moment, and um, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm contemplating about uh, heading into those areas for the morning. I rather want to sit right on top of these elevated areas for now, where it's a little bit warmer. And I might start moving into those misty areas a little bit later once things start warming up. Look, this is why we love Treehouse Dam. Look at this big male elephant that has just come down towards Treehouse Dam. Oh, what a beautiful boy. Hello. Coming for an early, early morning drink. Or is he? Or is he just going to be moving past? That is, what a start, eh? In the mist as well. How beautiful is that? Uh, he's just going right... Don't come this way now. Yeah, there you go. I'd rather just move past. Big male elephant. Disappearing in the mist. Look at... We have beautiful, beautiful sunrise, and you can see there's this youngster involved. In a herd of buffalo like this, that makes the lions love to troll them, it's just because the individual members of the buffalo, some of them, they're very old, most special females, some of them, they suffer from injuries, some of them, of course, they're sick, and they lag behind all the time. We just crossed the finger because we had the lion calling almost the same area where the buffalo were coming from from last night. So possibilities of the lions staying there, if they have chances to get one of the weak one behind, they might kill the buffalo inside the Manyaleti, not in our side. But you know that it's in the nature of a buffalo all the time they perfect, protect the individual. So it might not happen. But chances of a lions, because they are nocturnal species, it's very great at the uh, course of a night to hunt and be successful. But anyway, you would never predict what happened at night because it might happen that they kill or not. Look what has been found this morning. One of the adult lionesses, not too far from where we heard them roaring this morning. So it's a very quick find. We never found her. Uh, the other guides from, I think it's Modique Safari Lodge. Yes, that's it. Uh, they managed to find her. Now, apparently they scattered out here. There's others that are around here. Um, but the bush is very tight here. And so sometimes the, the bush doesn't accommodate an extra vehicle. So... Um, when they start to move and start to come out in a sort of a better area um, then we'll try and reapproach. but from here we can see her very very nicely the male is somewhere around here he's just uh, sort of in the thicket and we're just gonna wait and see what's gonna happen this morning look at her Yo, she's beautiful there eh? still quite a young one Yo. Wow. Whew. That was cool. You can hear that male roaring. What a cool view this has been. So cool. How incredible this is. Every single hair on my neck is standing up right now. 
So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I believe there was Impala somewhere around here. So on that, in brackets, please be advised that, you know, anything can happen at any time. So just a bit of a disclaimer going there. Um, so there could be some Impala around here, which I believe there is. And then we heard some roaring here. So I'm not sure if they're nervous from an opposing pride or if they maybe break away sort of in the area. I'm not quite sure. Wow, look at that. Yo. Wow. Now, give us a moment. We just want to see where they're going. We don't want to just start up and just follow them. That's not going to be very respectful. We've got a bit of a, a standoff here on uh, the dam wall. We've got this big hippo. He is huge. So a good two tons. That's pretty much in front of us. And looks like this hippo is slowly making its way yet back into the water. It's coming back from its nightly feed. So you'll find early morning or early evenings they'll move out and go and look for certain grass species and they'll come back before the sun comes up. Oh, it doesn't want to go into the water. Where are you going? It's a big male this. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at that head. You do not want to mess with an animal this size. And now it's coming towards us. It'll swallow rusty. What a lovely, lovely morning. I think, uh, and I'm hoping this uh, afternoon, we are going to find some more things. I'm really <laughs> going to look for some cats again this afternoon. All those wild dogs, because those wild dogs were pretty much uh, called in inside little Gary side. So I'm hoping we're going to find some of those things. But uh, yes, thank you for joining us uh, this morning on our sunrise safari. And uh, yeah, well, as always, thank you for all the amazing questions and comments that everybody sends through to us. It's always good. Keeps us on our toes. And uh, we always do appreciate them. But yeah, I'll make sure that you do join us this afternoon on our sunset safari. I'm just saying, crossing fingers, legs, everything. I'm hoping that we do find some cats or dogs. But I am due for something like that. Definitely. Definitely. I think I'm, uh, it's almost like my sixth day or seventh day now without a leopard. That is something that's never happened. But, as I say, always expect the unexpected. But yes, from the Wild Earth team, thank you so much for joining us and have a wonderful day further and we'll see you on our sunset safari this afternoon.